Hi guys, my name is Emily. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about 2019 reading aspirations. These are the books that I say I want to read that I probably will not want to read three days from now. But what I want to do is actually come back to this video at the like halfway point in the year and maybe at the end of the year to see how I'm doing because uh, right now I have some specific interests and I'm hoping that I'm able to follow through on those. So let's start with this first pile here. So I have a couple of things that I'm interested in right now. Oh, the pillows are attacking me. One of my things has been fairy tales for the last little bit. I've been really into fairy tales and I ended up picking up a couple of collections over the end of last year because of it. And so I'm just going to share with you the collections that I want to get to and I want to get through opposed to just flipping through. And so one of them is Language of Thorns, Midnight Tales, and Dangerous Magic by Lee Bardugo. Now I heard that this is a, I actually bought this uh, without doing any research. I have been led to believe that you don't need to read the Grisha trilogy, but um, I'm not sure. The next book I have here is Louise O'Neill, The Surface Breaks, a reimagined Little Mermaid. Let's just take a minute to appreciate this book. Like the cover is fantastic. The naked hardback is gorgeous. I bought this with uh, the money that my grandfather gave me for my birthday. He would definitely not approve because it's shiny and it's a book and it's not the Bible and I want to read it. The next book I have here is Angela Carter's Book of Fairy Tales. I am excited because Angela Carter is sort of heralded as this writer of feminist fantasy not fantasy, feminist fairy tales. I'm excited to read her alongside the original Grimm's. Uh, this is a complete first edition, the original folk and fairy tales of the Grimm brothers, translated and edited by Jack Zipes, who is a huge name in, like, he's the name, basically, in um, fairy tale scholarship. Um, I want to read both of these. The next book I have here is Russian fairy tales, which has shown up a lot. Um, I am interested in exploring Russian and more uh, wintry northern fairy tales because I personally find that fascinating and I just want to read through the rest of this collection. Like I've been poking at it, but I think it's time to like make a real effort of getting through more of them. So those are the fairy tale books that I want to get to this year. The next secret stack, ooh, which I'm not going to talk about as much. Number one is Cujo by Stephen King because one of my lovely co-workers, this was her first Stephen King and I have said I'm going to read it and I should read it so that I can talk about it with her. I have Dumplin' Go Big or Go Home by Julie Murphy. I have read Puddin and Ramona Blue and I loved them and I watched the movie and now I want to read the book. I have Son of a Trickster by Eden Robinson, which Hannah McGregor recommended on the podcast Secret Feminist Agenda. I love Eden Robinson's work. I've read Monkey Beach by her. She is an indigenous author and this is the start of a new trilogy. Also, I have bought this to buddy read with my best friend so that we can stay in touch while she's off in Ottawa being a professional and I'm here and so I'm looking forward to buddy reading this with her. I also have on Hannah McGregor's recommendation uh, The Marrow Thieves by Cherie Demoline. Just it sounds so fucked up and I need to read it. I have a Winter's Promise, The Mirror Visitor Book One by Christelle Davos, and this is a piece of translated fiction. I have heard Jean talk about it. It sounds wonderful and I want to get to it. I have Arcadia by Ian Pierce. This has been on my TBR for a while and it is huge, which is why I keep avoiding it, but it sounds right up my alley. It is playing with fantasy literature and I love books that get meta. And then I have Fire and Blood by George R. R. Martin. This is the first book in a duology that is looking back at the Targaryen family. I pre-ordered it and that is a habit that I am trying to break in 2019. I have set a goal for myself of no longer pre-ordering books. This is a book that I pre-ordered, so this is a book that I want to read in 2019 because if I paid for the fucking pre-order, I should read it before the mass market paperback comes out and I could have paid $10 for it opposed to whatever I paid on this. So the next stack I have here is in regards to my learning German um, and so I want to work my way through complete German grammar and verbs and vocabulary because I'm sick of Duolingo. 
I have decided to restart Die Mitte der Welt by Andreas Steinhovel from the beginning, and I want to read one German book every two months, so that's hopefully six German books, and uh, I'm starting with this one because I've already started it, and I'm gonna read the next two that I have here because I've purchased them, but I think I would also like to make the other three books that I read this year more middle grade. So I have the Martian Erzähler, oh that's a good pronunciation, by Antonia Michaelis. <laughs> hmm, this is why I'm learning German. And then I have Harry Potter und der Stein der Weissen. Um, so this is what I mean by more middle grade. Like a lot of children's literature is German. A lot of like folk and fairy tales, like the Grimm brothers and stuff like that, um, exists in German. A lot of fairy tale scholars actually do German as a second language. A lot of children's lit scholars do German as a second language, which is maybe why my interest is partly in German as well. Because, you know, if I want to do that PhD, I need a second language. Uh, what was my point? I have no idea what my point was, but uh, these are the three pieces of German fiction that I would like to get to in the first six months of 2019, and then I have yet to decide the other three, but hopefully this goes well. And the last two books I have here are um, in preparation for NaNoWriMo, because I do want to do NaNoWriMo again. I found the process of writing a novel really good for my mental health. I like writing. I did not think I would ever say that. I feel like there's a video on this channel somewhere way back in the day where somebody asked if I would ever write a novel and I said that I didn't feel that calling, that I preferred being like more scholarly and deconstructing texts, which is true, but I do also enjoy fiction it turns out. View from the Cheap Seats by Neil Gaiman. And so Neil Gaiman is quite established in the fantasy sci-fi genre. These are just essays on a broad range of interests and topics, including but not limited to authors past and present, music, storytelling, comics, bookshops, travel, fairy tales, America, inspirations, libraries, ghosts, and the touching title piece, which recounts the author's experience at the 2010 Academy Awards in Hollywood. Some of it may be not relevant for writing, but some of it will be, and I'm excited for it. And then the other book I have here is Ursula K. Le Guin's Conversations on Writing with David Nyman. Again, Ursula K. Le Guin is well established in the genre that I want to write, science fiction and fantasy, uh, more so fantasy. I'm just excited to try and read things from writers that I respect, writers that do the things that I I'm interested in doing. So those are some of the books that I want to get to in 2019. Obviously, I'm going to make it a priority to shop my shelves. I wonder if I could turn that into a little video series. Like, I already sort of shopped my shelves to pick these, but maybe every month as we go through the year, I can flip the camera around to my unread bookshelves and uh, we'll shop these together to pick my TBR. There's an idea. Let me know if you'd like to see that, a shop my shelves TBR picking. Let me know your thoughts on these books in the comments down below. Have you read any of them? Do you want to read any of them? Also, what is a book that you want to read this year? A new release, something from the backlist, anything? Let's chat. If you liked what you saw here today, consider giving this video a thumbs up and maybe subscribe. That would be cool. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye.